Today, I'm going to show you how to use WeVideo and to do a very basic edit. So this is really how to log in and how to just do the very basic edit for an introductory assignment in video production with WeVideo. So we're going to go to wevideo.com slash sign in. wevideo.com slash sign in. Log in with Google. And it immediately takes us to our dashboard. The particular project we're talking about today is a shared project the whole class is working on. So you're going to click right up at the top on the projects tab. Click on shared with me. And this project is YouTube and TV studio production. Double click. We have not started this yet. So to begin, simply click start. Now notice this is the media I've used for other projects. Click here on project media. This is what we're using for this project. Now, if you have a magic wand and if your timeline, this down here is the timeline, if it looks different than this, you're in the wrong editing mode for this lesson here. To fix that, go up here, click on the menu and switch to timeline. I'm already in the timeline mode. This is what it would look like if you were in the wrong mode. So to get out of this mode, because we're not using this mode, go up to the menu, switch to timeline. And this is your timeline. So we have video track one, video track two, and audio track one. This in video track one is where we're putting all of our video clips that are interviews. So anything with talking is going to go here. Above that, we're going to put other stuff at a later time. So video one, that's where we're putting all of our interview clips. Just to go over some of the screens, some of the windows we have here in WeVideo, we have the title up here. Let's change this to YouTube. And we're just going to call it maybe YouTube and Studio Interviews. So you can name it something else, but definitely add your name to the title. So always put your name in your title. We have various interviews here. There's also some B-roll. We're going to just work with the interviews today. Other tabs and other features include the following. You can import. So if you want to click import, you can add things from Google Drive, like your own interview, for example, for anyone who's um, recording like a vlog or something at home. Upload that to Google Drive to save a copy and add that from Google Drive. Or you can browse and take stuff directly from your computer or from a device like a video camera. There's stock media. So that's things like video clips, pictures, sound effects. Uh, one thing that's really awesome about this is there is a ton of stock music. We're using this music because we're allowed to use this in our projects. So if you want to find music, you can search and filter with this feature. You can uncheck anything other than music, leaving music checked if that's what you're looking for. So if you want to get back to your video clips, click My Media. Later, when we add a title, we're going to add it from the text tab. So getting back to editing itself, in order to um, begin editing and actually put your video together, double click any of these. And just like on YouTube, you just press the play button to listen to it. Hi, my name is Ian White, and I'm taking YouTube and TV production with Ryan Scott. And let's hear another. Uh, my name is Kyle Goings. I'm doing YouTube and TV productions at uh, SW Tech with Mr. Scott. So when we're ready to edit, before you just start putting stuff down here in the Video 1 tab, first select the part that you want. So we're actually just editing in the clips that we're going to use. We're not going to just take all of our footage and put it down here because you'll end up working with a really high amount of video 
And then it's hard to go through all the stuff and really get things the way you want. Instead, use the technique. It's a really good way to do it where you just choose what you want and put it right into your video. So as you go through, start to assemble that video by selecting just the parts you want to use. So here's how to do that. Double click, press play to start listening to the part you might wanna use. Hi, I'm Jose Rodriguez and I am taking YouTube and TV studio productions. We're gonna stop it there. So to select just this portion right here, take this black tab that is marking the out point. That's basically saying, I want the video clip that I'm going to use to end right here and move this right to that spot. So you can just click and drag it over. So let's listen. Hi, I'm Jose Rodriguez and I am taking YouTube and TV studio productions. All right, very good. So drag and drop this only into the video one tab. Now we're gonna get another one. So let's listen. Hi, my name is Lisa Giroux and I am taking YouTube and TV Studios Productions at Southwest Tech. So let's get just like a rough portion and then we can trim it more in the actual timeline. So again, drag this other tab here right to about where you wanna use it. Click, drag and drop right into your sequence. In the bottom right corner, zoom in, by clicking the plus sign. That'll allow us, or you can drag this over, that'll allow us to see right up close so we can edit in more detail. The next step to give you that option, in your video one tab, click this little triangle, open up the menu and select the largest track height. That will let you really get in and see the audio waveforms, which is how I like to use we video to get precise edits. Let's work on Alyssa's clip. It's got the orange box around it, which means it's selected. So I'm going to listen and see if we need to adjust anything. This is Jero and I am taking YouTube and TV Studio. Yep, so we need to make this a little bit longer. To do that, we already clicked on it to select it. Hover over the end of the clip and pull this outward to stretch the clip. YouTube and TV Studios Productions. Good. Now we're going to do the same with Jose's clip. So we have a pause in the beginning and just a little bit of, like, I guess you could say a pause or some silence at the end. Click, hover over the end, and then just drag to trim the clip ever so slightly. I'm going to move this over, move Alyssa's over so these are together. That's one way to move it. There are others as well. Uh, let's grab another clip and then we're going to move on to the next point. We're going to take Ian's, trim that up. We're only going to use part of it. According to that. YouTube and TV production with Ryan Scott. All right. Now, since I have a few video clips, I think I've got your attention and we know what the video is about more or less. So let's add our title. So we're starting with some talking, then let's add the title. Just scrolling through these, I can see sort of what they look like. To actually watch it or see a sample, double click and then it'll pop up in the preview window. Drag and drop into track two. So let's use this one. Double click it and now we can edit. YouTube and TV Studio. What we're doing is just changing the text because of course we don't want it to say what it said before. We're putting in our own custom text. You can also change font style or font family. You can change colors. You can really customize these the way you want. So let's get, yeah, let's just stick with that. You can make it look however you want. Good, and notice it goes away. Now it's time for us to add in more video clips. I'm gonna go through and really just get the rest of these interviews. I'm gonna go through and find their answers, take just the clips I want to use, and using these black tabs, we've got the start and the stop. This is the in point, this is the out point. We select where we want the clip to begin, and then where we want it to end just for the part we're working with at that time. 
I've always looked up to YouTubers and internet sensations, and and it'd be kind of easy money. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Let's end right there. So bring this right over to that spot. So we've got the in point where we want that, the out point where we want that. So we've chosen just the portion here with the white highlight marks. Drag and drop right into our video, also in video track one. So we've got some clips, our title, and now we're getting back into the video content. If I want to see everything, zoom out slightly. And if you want to zoom back in, you can always click the little plus sign in the corner to do small increments. If you want to cut by separating a clip into two pieces, put the playhead, the blue line here where you want it to be, click, and there's a little scissors icon. Click on that, and that's how you cut it. Now click on things and move them around the way you want them. I'm just moving Dante's clip over here. Easy money, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. So let's add more clips. And then we're going to take a look and see what we have. So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, when we are ready to finish the video, meaning when we're ready to call it done for now, we should have probably at least four or five interview answers. You could definitely do more like I did here. So there should be a title and some different answers from the interviews. You could use your answers, you could use yours and other people's. Um, you can add your video, like I said earlier, if you didn't submit it before, you can definitely import it from uh, Google Drive or from your computer or the camera. Put it right in, edit with that. It will probably show up, uh, instead of under the Project Media tab, it'll show up under My Media most likely. So when you're ready, watch through the video and make sure it's the way you want it. Make any changes if you want to change anything. Then right up in the top right corner, click on Finish. Always, always, always switch this to HD. We want to switch it to HD because we don't want it to be a little crappy video here on standard def, which is SD. That's boring. That's not very nice. So let's use HD right here. I always like to additionally add Google Drive. So click on it. You'll probably need to approve it. Give it permission to use. Google Drive. So now I have Wii Video and Google Drive both selected. HD, video, give it a title if you haven't. And we click export. This is going to take some time. Once this is finished, it's going to end up in Google Drive and here in Wii Video. So from there, that's how you submit it into Google Classroom. You'll go into Google Classroom, which you probably should be in right now and bring up the spot where you can submit work, attach your video file, and turn it in. Make sure you turn it in. Another way you can additionally share it with me is to go into Google Drive and share it with my email address. But you should always turn it in in Google Classroom.